Um, my research is in how to optimize musculoskeletal performance and to m minimize injury rates. And so what we look at is we look at muscle and tendon and, and the connective tissue and how the connective tissue is regulated by load and nutrients. And so what we've found is that when we do slower movements, the muscle end of the tendon begins to, the collagen within the muscle end of the tendon starts to shear and you break these little cross links that um, are important for increasing the stiffness of the connective tissue. And so when we load slowly, we get this nice shear force that causes the, the tendon, the muscle end of the tendon, to become less stiff. When we load quickly, because there's no time for the shear stress to develop, there's no decrease in the stiffness because there's no breaking of the cross links. And every time we exercise, we increase the enzyme lysyl oxidase, which increases the number of cross links in the collagen. And so the result is that when we do fast movements, we increase the number of cross links within the connective tissue. And when we do slow movements, we decrease the number of cross links within the connective tissue. And that's really important for performance and health because when we increase the stiffness of the connective tissue of the tendons, the muscle end of the tendon, what we're doing is we're increasing our ability to do fast movements, we're increasing performance. But when we do slow movements, we have shear force, break cross links in the muscle end of the tendon, in the collagen of the muscle end of the tendon. What we see at that point is that now the muscle end of the tendon becomes stretchier and that protects the muscle from injury. So for health, we do slow movements and for performance, we do fast movements. And really optimally, a whole program would be developed where you do fast movements and slow movements together in the same program, depending on what your injury risk is and what part of the season you're in.